Hey everyone, welcome to day seven of my Ranura challenge. This is, should complete the first week, first seven days, but less than a quarter of the way there. And I'm back on couch to 5K, week four. But I'm very annoyed because the app doesn't seem to have recorded that I did week, uh, week four run one on Friday. What? Why is it not recorded that I've already done this? And being a bit of a completionist, uh, I don't really want to leave the app with a gap. So I think I'm going to have to do this run four times, which I'm not particularly happy about, but maybe not a bad thing. Anyway, so I'm going to do run one again of week four. They're the same run, so it doesn't really matter too much. And uh, yeah, off we go on my warm-up walk but what I forgot to tell you yesterday well not forgot to tell you but uh, I went home after my run yesterday and weighed myself because uh, I wanted to do my weigh-ins on a Saturday uh, Saturday morning ideally but I ended up doing it after my run on Saturday afternoon and I lost two and a half kilograms in five days which uh, is about sort of five and a half pounds just over five and a half pounds which is a lot of weight to lose in five days. It's not sustainable, probably not recommended, but it's a very good kickstart to this challenge. I'm very happy with it. But, you know, if I can get to losing, you know, keep it to about sort of two and a half to three, well, say two to four pounds a week over January, that would be enough for me, plenty. And I'd be happy with where I am at the end of January. But uh, anyway, let's get this run done and I'll come back at the end and continue my story. That's week four, run one, completed again. Very disappointed with my app, but I think it might have been my fault. I think I forgot to end and save the run in the app afterwards. Obviously I'm more focused on saving it on my watch for Strava than I am about saving it in the app. Uh, so my fault, but as I say, as a bit of a completionist, dating back to my video game days, uh, I'm gonna do this one again, twice, to finish the app, or to finish the week in the app. So, never mind. Anyway, it's been quite an experience running today. There's been quite a few, a few people walking, quite a few crowds. Uh, it's uh, Saturday, the, uh, sorry, Sunday the 7th of January, and it's the Shrewsbury versus Wrexham FA Cup. Derby today, very old rivals. It's a sellout ground for the first time in a while, I think. And uh, although the match doesn't start till three o'clock, I think there's a lot of people heading to the pubs near the ground. I quite, I live quite near the football ground, probably about half a mile away. Uh, probably less actually by the club as the crow flies. So yeah, so there's quite a few people around. Uh, so I had to dodge in and out of people, but you know it's fine. Uh, Anyhow, I wanted to correct a few things I said yesterday. Um, I think I said yesterday that uh, I've got my dates wrong basically. So in my story about what happened to me, you know, after I lost all that weight in sort of 2021 and 2022, first half of 2022 anyway, um, I went to Mallorca as you saw. And then actually I was a bit harsh on myself because Whilst I did come back and not really pick back up on the diet, I did keep running a lot. And I was training for my first 10k run, which I ended up doing in, I can't remember if it was August or September 2022. And it was the Spitfire 10k, which is around Cosworth Airfield, which is now an RAF museum. And that was really good fun. It was hard, but it was nice and flat. Uh, the runway had a bit of a slope on it, but really not much. And uh, really enjoyed it and had intended to do it every year since. But anyway, we'll get on to what happened in 2023. But because I was training for that specific event, after that event, I took a break. And unfortunately that break lasted all of winter basically, other than the odd one or two days, maybe week of trying. But just not getting back into it and uh, 
yeah, very disappointing. <laughs> didn't go back on the shakes. Didn't do too bad eating wise. Anyway, so get, fast forward to sort of, um, I don't know, spring 2023, and I was running a little bit. I was, you know, starting to get back into it. I was, I'd started fight, catch the 5k again in sort of like February, I think it was. Um, picked up a couple of injuries and illnesses, which set me back a bit. Anyway, some friends of mine signed up to do the Endure 24 um, event, which is basically where either on your own as a pair or as a team, you try and run as many laps of uh, this park in 24 hours. And uh, I've never, they've done it like four or five times, maybe, maybe, slightly, maybe three or four times without me. And uh, I'd always sort of missed like seeing, the, seeing them talk about it, it seemed like a good camaraderie and a good experience, so I, I signed up as well. And uh, yeah, so I really trained hard over the summer of 2023 to get ready for that. And I get, got back up to around about 10k distance, maybe not quite 10k distance. The lap was 8k basically, but it was quite hilly. Well, not really hilly, but it was lumpy. And uh, yeah, basically lost a bit, lost a bit more weight again. Generally got back to roughly where I was when I was in Mallorca, maybe about half a stone over, and uh, did that event. Really enjoyed it. It was really hot. Um, if I can find it, I'll insert some footage because I've never really shown any footage of it before. Never really had the reason to because I'd stopped doing the videos at that point. <laughs> I don't know if people pay good for money for that or nothing. <laughs> And um, yeah, really enjoyed it. But it proper knackered me. Like I had bad feet, bad everything. You know, I lost toenails. You don't want to know, it wasn't great. So that set me back. Uh, well, basically I stopped. And that is sort of brings us to where I was. And that is the sort of summer 2023, where I basically stopped running. 
I didn't do the 10k that I'd done the previous year, the Spitfire 10k. Uh, I didn't even sign up to it, which is a shame. And yeah, basically stopped running. And that's where I'm going to leave the story because the next bit of the story is a bit more serious. I want to say it's serious, it's, look, it's not life threatening or anything. So don't worry, but I do want to take a bit of time to think about actually what I want to say. So I'll leave it there and I'll see you tomorrow for my next one mile run which will be the first time I do the intermediate one. Which so now I'm going to go home, do some chores. I've got a snooker match this afternoon. And uh, I've also got some video editing to do for my snooker channel. I've got to edit this video. So I've got a lot to do today. And, uh, but the good thing is I've only got two more days left of my old job, Monday and Tuesday. And then I've got three days, well, five days off before I start my new job. So there we go. Anyway, enjoy your Sunday. And I'll see you tomorrow.